Hey, yo, what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. And you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio. And, of course, you know we're here in Seattle, chilling in Capitol Hill, and we got John Eckloff on the block with us today. What's good with it? What's good with you, man? Chilling, chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? Just on the grind. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <clears throat> you know, I just want to say thank you for taking the time for this exclusive interview. You know what I'm saying? Really just, you know, meeting me halfway, if you will. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, we've been following you for a minute, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, a lot of your endeavors and, and artistic projects and things like that, so it's a real honor to finally catch up with you. Yeah, man, no doubt. Like, you know no what I mean? Yeah, and, no, I and, appreciate that. In the flesh, like, you know what I mean? We here. You feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I see you got the Mariners hat on, so it's real, like. <laughs> yeah, we rapping. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt, but yeah, man, thank you for having me. Man. No doubt, man. Real yeah. talk, real talk. So, uh, real quick, man, go ahead and just, you know, give the people a general background on yourself. Uh, so I'm from Lakewood, uh, Lakewood, Washington, Lakewood, Washington. I grew up there pretty much my entire life. Uh, started writing, like making music when I started writing when I was like in, uh, a freshman in high school, I've been performing my entire life, like getting in front of an audience. Right. Uh, when I went to college after my first year, uh, I dropped out. So, and then my my friends and I started a record label, and, uh, you know, we was doing that for a couple of years. That shit kind of fell apart. Most of the stuff kind of fell apart. And um, after that, I uh, went back to school, got into public speaking, and, you know, I'm a, I don't like to say a motivational speaker, but, like, you know, I go and speak to different audiences. And, right. Um, How did you fall into that? Uh, from, I'll go to open mic to promote our record label. So I would uh-huh. spit a verse a cappella. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it you know, it was like kinda like a spoken word piece. Right. And so people would like give me a lot of positive feedback. Huh. And would be like, yo, that yo, that stuff was dope. Nice. And then I just kept on going to more open mics doing it and then that just evolved into me just writing spoken word pieces. Right. And then from performing at open mics people would ask me to perform the spoken word at an event or something like that. Okay. And then that just kind of evolved into like, yo, we need you to give a speech. <laughs> you know, just right. On. Yeah, yeah, but so I, you know, I've been doing that and been speaking for probably ten years now. Oh damn! You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Or it's like I'm just like a couple months shy of ten years. For sure. Which is like wild to imagine. Like I've been doing this for a right. decade. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah. That's and, a cold realization. Right. Man. Right. You know, you got that's something to be proud of. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You put in that much time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know it's all genuine. You know yeah. What I mean? Like, you know, like, you were there because you wanted to be there. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> it's like no one could take away that feeling of knowing that you put that many hours in the gym. Exactly. Like, nobody could shake exactly. that. Exactly. And so, exactly. like, when I go in front of an audience and I'm feeling nervous and I'm feeling like, ooh, I, I don't know what's going to happen, you know? Like, right, right. I, I get scared sometimes. Like, that helps me remember, like, well, man, you've been putting in work. You've been doing this for a very long time, and because of that, it, it, and that's how you gain your confidence, right? No doubt. Right. No doubt. I mean, knowing that I've been uh, speaking for so long definitely helps. But I mean, my preparation is like uh, is on par. I don't. No doubt. I'm not slacking when I prepare for it. So <laughs> right on. That, that helps me feel better too. You know. Right. Right. You yeah. go up there. You about, You know. You just gotta go through the motions. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> so man, you ain't thought of. You ain't thought about like you know publishing a book, you know, a poetry, you know, yeah. type of thing. I know. did. I published a book last year. It was an e-book. Okay. It was an e-book on right on. Uh, off Amazon. It got taken down because, like, I don't know, they, they, I guess it was too controversial. Really? Something, I don't know, like, uh, I got threatened with, like, a, not like a cease and desist, but, like, that I was going to get sued for libel, so they just took it down. But, yeah, no, I had a book out. <laughs> I plan to. I, I definitely plan to publish more books in the future. No doubt. Um, yeah, man. For sure. Uh, so you said you went to college. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying. Yes, so tell me about your, you know, educational ambitions. You know what okay. I'm saying. Like, you know what, you know, because you know, me growing up, they always say, yeah, you go to college. You yeah. know, you, you don't. You're young. You don't really understand what it means. No. Nah, you know nah, what I mean. Until until you so, so you're 24 and realize you you don't have a bachelor's. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. 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 So you know what. What encouraged you to, to enroll in school, and, and, and how far have you taken it? And, and just tell me about it. No doubt, no doubt. I went to um, I went to UW to get my bachelor's degree in, like, 2006. But first, you went straight to UW? Straight to UW after high school. 
What? And, uh, yeah, I dropped out after my first year because like, it, it's not what I wanted to do. I was like, well, I'm going to be a rapper, and we're going to be famous in like six months. So right, what? What, I need a, what I need a degree for. And so we dropped out, went back home, and I was like away from school for almost three years, yeah. never planning on coming back. Never, just like, I'll self-educate myself. I'll keep reading, right. studying my own stuff. Okay. Um, but I don't know if I'll go and do formal schooling. But uh, in the August of uh, 2009, I uh, was walking around UW and I hella listened to my intuition, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And my intuition was just like, bro, you need to go back because there's more opportunities out here for music and stuff rather than just staying in Lakewood. Yeah. So I went back to school in 2009 and uh, that's when I really started doing public speaking and uh, graduated 2012. Nice. And then... Uh, Congrats on that. Man. Yeah, no doubt. Then I went back and got my master's degree. Thank you. About two years ago, and so I just graduated in June. Oh wow! Yeah. So you, what was your major? Um, multicultural education. That was for for my master's, master's degree. Okay. My bachelor's degree was in uh, American ethnic studies. So basically, my master's degree is just getting basically like how to teach what I learned in my undergraduate. You know oh, what I'm okay. saying? Because it's like ethnic studies, so it's like the history of people of color. Right. Coming to the United States and exactly. issues of racism and oppression and power and all those dynamics, like uh, my master's degree is just you know saying that I have a paper that that makes me legit. You know, right, what I mean? right, no doubt. So I mean, you guys be teaching the subject, right? Uh, I mean, and I'm look, I mean, I'm looking for a job that uh, where I would be able to like. Um, because I can't teach a, at a at a four year university with a master's degree, but I could teach a, Get out at, a PhD yeah yeah yeah. But I could teach at a community college. You know no what I'm doubt, saying? exactly. Yeah yeah, exactly. yeah. And like, I mean, even if it's not formally, I I still like to do like informal talks right. with people just to share the history because I think it's exactly. important for people to know because you're not gonna learn this stuff in school. Right. And you're not gonna like knowing the most crucial parts of like race, history, power in the United States, um, you're not going to learn it in school, so you're not going to really know what time it is or how this world is operating now, you know what I mean? And this is like, that's, I feel like it's crucial for major people to, to be exposed to. It changed my life when I figured it out. You know? Man, no doubt, man. That's yeah. what's up, man. You know what I mean? You, you got to continue to search. You know right. what I'm saying? For, you know what I mean, ways that we can evolve and, and, and get better. And, right. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, seek seek that for ourselves, you know what I mean? And it comes from within, you know what I mean? No you know, doubt. That's gotta, you gotta want it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why, like, you know, I, I applaud you because just from, from what it looks like to me, that, you know, for the most part, I mean, you, you've made, you know, good decisions for your future, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, right. that's, that's critical. I made some you know mistakes. I mean? Well, of course. I mean, that, that's inevitable. Yeah. You know what no I'm doubt. saying? But at the same time, like, you know, we all, you know, you can, you know, fuck up, like, yeah. straight up. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, we, yeah. we can all just, like, you know, fall off and, and I mean, you know, anything can happen. Right, 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 I mean? right. The, like, in L.A., you know what I mean, Cash choose the gangbang, you know what I mean? Then you got cats that grew up in that environment that that don't gangbang, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Then you look mm-hmm. at those cats, like, okay, when they were confronted with the decision, like, what kept them or what made them, you, yeah. know, you know what I mean? And, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. I look at it like that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. So, you, know, how, you know, how people choose to spend their time, you know, all, you know, things like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure but but yeah, you know, just going back sure. real quick, you know what I mean, what what led you to become an artist? Like what was it that like I'm sure hip hop inspires you, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like what was the first, you know what I mean, music that that made you like feel like okay, I want to do this? Yeah. Uh I mean, I think creating art has like been in my soul since I was born. No doubt. Um hip hop really crystallized that and really helped me with the avenue for it. Yeah. And that had to be really my freshman year of high school. My homies, we would listen to... Um, what year are we talking? It was 2001. Oh, damn, 01. 01. Yeah, well, my yeah, homies yeah. and I, we, you know, we like, we would listen to the Squad mixtapes. We would listen to, you know, early Fab. We would listen to, uh, you know, uh, that's when June it was popping too. Mm-hmm. So like, all of these mixtapes and these cats are writing hella uh, punchlines. And so me and my homies would just like write, you know, two liners and, you know, just really just try to be creative. And that just evolved into writing verses. And I mean, it really got me into 
to hip hop. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Now, how is hip hop in Lakewood? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's people out there making music, right. but it's like I wouldn't say that there's like an actual scene. Nah, there. there's more of a scene in Tacoma for okay. sure, and they and, and folks in Lakewood just kind of get all like lumped into that. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's some people out there though. For sure. There's some, there's some people out there. No doubt, man. So, man, let's talk Lakosa. Okay. You know yeah, yeah. And, and, no doubt. And just to just to even bring me up on speed, what does Lakosa stand for? I know it's like an, an abbreviation for something, right? Oh, damn, you put me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> uh, loosely affiliated, something like, dog, I don't know. It's right, something right, about right. loosely affiliated artists, like, coming together on some shit. Right. I don't know. Right. I, I can't, I, like, I wasn't there for the, like... <laughs> come together on some shit. Yeah, that sounds right. Like, you know what I mean? That's the vibe. I mean, like, uh, I joined the Costa, like, towards the end of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't, like, a founding right, right, right. father oh, okay. to join. So like, they signed me to, like, the two-year deal real quick. You know? right. <laughs> The, you know, the, the way you're an opt-out opt Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Opt-out. You feel me? <laughs> when you're an opt-out. Yeah, bro. You know? they, they were trying to, like, they were trying to test the water. Okay, you know? okay, no doubt. So, okay. yeah, it's I, insightful. I, you know what I mean? You know? Just the background, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, man. Okay, so, you know, that one track we did, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, how did that come together? Um, I started, uh... I met DL, shout out to my brother DL. I met DL at, at school and he let me know about Cypher Monday. So I started going to Cypher Mondays and, and spitting 16. And then just from making connections with everybody there, vibing with them, yeah. they asked me if I could be on the track. And so I was like, yeah, no doubt. And you know, it's wild because it's like I collaborated a lot with Lacosta even before I was officially like right. on, you know? No but I mean, you know, shout out to Mackie, shout out to Xavier. Um, shout out to everybody up in there. Yeah. Know, shout so, out to Trey. And then the video is crazy, man. You, know, you guys are like everywhere. You bro, guys it was hella. You guys shit up. And yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. Like, it was crazy. It was a lot, bro. It's like 13 <laughs> cats rapping on the track. Like, <laughs> that shit lasted. That's a Yeah, yeah. Which is wild because, like, oh, damn. Yeah, man. That was like one of the first times I really kicked it with him. Yeah, that was a good day. I remember that day. No doubt. So, yeah, man, you know, <clears throat> when it comes to, like, you know, writing new material, you know what I mean, or, you know, just coming up with new concepts and subject matters and just, just like, reinventing yourself, yes, right? Sir. You know what I mean? Where, where do you draw your inspiration from? Um, definitely my life. Definitely the people around me. Um, I draw inspiration from from everything. I mean, my dreams. I document my dreams and I record them and just look at them and reflect on them so there's that and I mean like the community the people around me on the day to day so like my family and stuff all of it I just you know is a an amalgamation or like a, uh, all of these coming together combined together like was where I draw a lot of my inspiration from Hotel. you know Hotel. yeah now do you ever experience like you know things like writer's block or like you feel like this just creatively yeah. or artistically, yeah. you know, you come to like a, a halt, oh, yeah. like a drag. Yeah, no doubt, no like, doubt. How do you deal with it? Man, I just sit in my room hella depressed and <laughs> not know what to do with my life. <laughs> nah, like, yeah, bro, there's times where I feel, it just feels dry. It feels like yeah. I'm a, a dry sponge squeezing for some moisture and right. nothing coming out. Um, but what I do is like, I struggle through it. I try to come up with something you know, hit my head against the wall for two hours and, you know, come up with some of this, like, you know, you're not really satisfied with it, but then right, right. you just kind of sit with it and then you go through it because I think that's just part of the process of creation. Exactly. It's not always that way, but, like, there's sometimes where it does take that long, but if you, right. you know, you sit with it, persevere through it, eventually, you know, you're going to come around and something's exactly. going to strike you, but you just have to be able to, like, um, really like sit in that discomfort exactly. you know what i'm saying real talk man yeah that's, that's a good way you put it you know I mean? yeah you gotta you gotta ride the wave you gotta endure right you know what i'm saying and still have that genuine desire to do it to do it no doubt no doubt like when i was uh you know being in school for like the last two years i haven't really been able to like dedicate my creativity to to um or to art uh-huh. it's just, i've just been studying and so after I graduated, you know, I was like, man, I got to write. I got to do something. And the first couple of days, it was rough. 
because I couldn't come up with anything or just nothing like I like I have an expectation or idea when I know that I know when I'm channeling it right and I wasn't exactly. channeling nothing exactly. and I was like man <laughs> and uh, it just took me a couple of days but then after a while you know you get back into the swing of things and that's right. where I feel like inspiration really comes from is like like the magical moments I mean they can happen at any time but like when you're bit like been hella consistent and just keeping on keeping at it keep yeah. on creating when you least expect it, boom, it just sneaks up on you because you've already, you're already in the motion. You're already opened right. up. You're already channeled. Exactly. You know? No doubt. Yeah, man. Well, so, man, that's real. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, let's talk current and upcoming projects. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you got some stuff. You know, let's talk about some of the stuff you got out right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And, you know, what's, what's, uh, what you got on the, on the upcoming. Up- upcoming? Okay. I mean, um, on my, uh, I have a website, com, where my writing's up there, um, my book was up there, <laughs> and uh, my spoken word album's up there, and there's like videos and stuff of uh, performances and times that I've spoken and stuff. But I, uh, yeah, I have a, a spoken word album that was released uh, February 21st last year, okay. and um, it's called uh, TEOTB which stands for the end of the beginning. Mm. And, um, yeah, man, I mean, it's, like, at this point, it's my most proudest uh, work that I've done. Oh, nice. Yeah, like... we got to check that out. Yeah, man, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, I just think it's dope. And, and like, I've made a lot of stuff that I know wasn't dope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I, like, it's not like I'm just gassing myself. Right, right, right. And so, to have That's that... That's a humble thing to say. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And so, like... Yeah, yeah. So I mean, the T E O T B. That that joint was special. Shout out to Pavel. He helped me. Uh, over, like, we we made that. Uh, he was my producer for it. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so he produces too. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, uh, Lucy Cristo. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's uh he's he's, he's done a, a few projects out now. Um, I know it's ready for a change. You know what I'm saying? I was off that. Oh project. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was like. I might. I'm sure I even have some of it on my phone. Like it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. Fucking hip hop album. You know? Yeah, no, he's good people, man. He's good people. He's done a lot of like more behind the scenes now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he still makes music, but he's like been stepping into like his Rick Rubin. You right. know what I mean? He's like in the behind the boards and just exactly. like like helping facilitate a vision. Exactly. And so like I mean, Vell is one of the most crucial people to have on your team when you're like wanting to make a project because he just knows what he's doing um but yeah man like i don't know i feel like i've been deviating a lot but like to get back to your question mm-hmm. um projects that i got coming up right uh i got another uh i'm gonna drop another album hopefully by the end of the summertime mm-hmm. um it don't have a title yet no nah. No, well, it don't or it won't. It, it just doesn't at this okay. point, but it will. It will. <laughs> but yeah, right, we we just don't know the title. But I'm working with Pavel, so it's gonna be uh, I'm excited for it. No doubt. Yeah. We definitely gotta check out what you got out now, man. And you know what I mean? You know, be on the lookout for the follow up. Yeah. You know no doubt. No doubt. You said you said as soon as sometime this year, right? Hopefully, Lord willing. No doubt. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my effort into it. What's the studio situation like, man? I'll be. I'll be, I'll be working with Pavel. Oh, no I'll doubt. Be working, working with Pavel. So you be down there? When I, I mean, go recording. Okay. Yeah, is, yeah. It, is it close to Lakewood? No, no, no. Pavel, he stay, <laughs> he stay out in Renton. Right. Yeah. So those two cities are, are not close to you? No. Uh, like, Lakewood is like the 40 minute to hour drive. Oh, Like, nice. south. It's like 40 miles, 50 miles south. Oh, and okay. so, like, Lakewood is a completely different space than Seattle. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And, like, it's a little slower with less people. I mean, it's not like a major city like this, but, it's, I mean, it's still, it's where I'm from. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, man, there's a whole different vibe out there. Uh-huh. You definitely got to go, man. You got to you Yeah, yeah, check it you got you to gotta show me things. You got to take me on the block. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You got to show me what it is, man. Like, no doubt. You know, I'm really trying to get a, a perspective of everything. You know yeah. what I mean? Where I'm hearing cats talking about Bothell and Kirkland and yeah, like, yeah. Everett. I, I mean, I heard of Everett. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, Everett's... You know, Columbia City and, and 
Texas, all these different spots, man. I'm still just trying to get to Lake Washington. Like I'm, I'm just trying to make it to the to the Lake Washington, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, but yeah, that's that's what's up, man. Um. So, where are the main places people can check it out? You know what I mean? To check for your stuff. Um. At John John Eklop dot com. Go ahead and spell it out, cause I know you got the K H in there. No man. doubt, no doubt. Uh, that's J O H N E K L O F, okay. as in Frank. Um, you can check it out at J to the dot bandcamp dot com. Um, and yeah, man, that's like that's where a lot that's that's where all my stuff is. Or you can just I mean, you can just Google my name. For sure, John Eklop. Thank you. Yeah, man. man. No Lakewood, doubt. Lakewood, Washington. You know what I mean? And and that's what it is. Yo, man, you got a you know a little burst for us, a couple bars, or you know what yeah. I mean? Some pieces, man. Go ahead and let's hear it, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is off the album, and just like to keep it in tune, because you know Jay Z just dropped an album, and it's like, I mean, I'll just it. <laughs> life sales. Used to poison my body. Had me saying. F mic skills, this is my thought process follow, such a tough pill to swallow, realizing not everybody could be Jay-Z, because you could call me crazy, but ever since back in the day, folks have been calling me J-E, and see, I took that as a sign, because you know, I'm out here trying to rhyme, I'm on my record label grind, and now his name is kind of sounding like mine, and that, they gave me that back in the time, my listening habit was more stillmatic, yes, Blueprint was getting gnaw. If then I had to choose between the two, I swear to God, I'm picking Nas coming through the speakers. There wasn't no neither. And I was willing to debate anybody that didn't pick either. And I was just plain and simple. The way I see life, yo, sustained by symbols. So the similarities we had soon turned me to a stand, quickening fans getting flipped on in June. Because I'm thinking, you know, I'll be this rapper, traveling the globe, unraveling my flow, sold out arenas, sunglasses on, and shit, I'm battling my glow. And they'll compare me to him, man, I already know. Like, I've seen it before it happened. That's why I'm laughing. Now, mind you, you can't stop a mystic that's optimistic. And looking back on it now, yes, I had goals, but they were not specific. I just thought I had what it counts. But that's not statistics. Plus, you're not getting far with dreams of being a star. First, you've got to come down to earth. I don't care who you are. Question my self-worth every time I wrote a verse. Anything that always came to mind always felt subpar. So how could I be the next over rap when I know that I'm holding back. Nope, haven't touched dope. All I do is hold the whack. My soul attack was rep all the wood and the whole attack. And then I'll be golden stat. But it was like a red light, a no go. In fact, yep, right on schedule now. Disappointment showing up. Because you got these young dudes all around me. And they out here blowing up. Got two million views flowing bars in a garage. Well, I'm out here struggling hard just to get my song on the blog. Well, my pop screaming, John, get off the couch and get a job. I just told myself, wait until I get tight with Rockefeller, but I just became a deadbeat. My life was a cappella. And when your mom's is hurting from not working, plus student loans was coming home, there's just so much time you can spend in the zone writing poems. Instead, I got to get me some bread, get back in the black because I'm stuck in the red. But now we full circle. Remember what I said? Life sales. You should poison my body. Have me saying fuck my skills. I never prayed to God. I prayed to God either. So now I'm thinking God, God, me from the young godly. Wow, <laughs> hey, bro, I was not expecting that fire right now, dog. Yeah, man, no doubt, man. man, you know, as you were spitting that, that's what just let me know. Like, man, see, cats out here, man, they they got something to say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you you have more than I that I expected. You know yeah, what I'm saying? thank you for that. Oh yeah, no doubt, I mean? no doubt. That's your boy John Eckloff. You know what I mean? John Eckloff dot com. Check it out, live and exclusive. No you doubt. Know what I'm I appreciate you having me, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, all right, so real quick, I got a couple more questions for you, man. Uh, you know, how important is giving back to the community to you? Yes, yeah, it's the most important. I mean, without without we, there's no me. No doubt. And I mean, being able to be connected to your people is really important for your ability to be fulfilled in your life. You know what uh, I'm saying? Because like, it's in my culture. Like, I'm Filipino. And there's a uh, this is this uh, idea called kapwa, and what kapwa means is like there's like a part of me is in a part of you, mm -hmm. and a part of you is in a part of me, mm -hmm. and so 
like how I treat you is going to be a reflection of how I treat myself. Uh, exactly. And so, like, you when you're out in the community, you got to be able to, you know, give back to the community right. because that's how that's how you right. sustain yourself. Exactly. You know. So yeah, you yeah. are you are a reflection in your community. You right. Know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 you know, not to cut you off or anything, but you know, that's why you know I I treat people with respect. You no know doubt. I mean? That's why right. I have integrity. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's why I don't do coward shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I don't want nobody doing me like that. Right. You don't want you that coming I mean? back to you. I yeah. can't murder because I don't want no one murdering me. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's just the basic print. That's the basic concept. You yeah. Know yeah. Yeah. No doubt. No <clears> doubt. But yeah, man. So yeah, no doubt. That's what's up. Uh, and so, what would you say your overall mission is? You know what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, uh, you know, through education and the arts. You know what I mean? Um, the overall. Like, what do you want to accomplish? You know what I'm saying in life. You know what I mean with, you know, these careers. Yeah. Um, the overall mission is to change the world, brother. And how to do that? I mean, we got to raise the standard of living here right. in the United States, get everybody uh, access to health care, get everybody some education, get everybody a house and uh, some money in their pocket and food in their belly, because there's a lot of people that are starving. Yeah. I think if we could transform the United States, uh, the rest of the world will follow suit. And um, so my goal, I mean, ultimately, is to run for president. <laughs> no doubt. You Thank know you. And, uh, I mean, I got some years before that will come to fruition. But, like, I mean, that's a that's my, my goal to be into a position to really right. help facilitate. Are you going for the Ph.D.? Might as well. That's the plan, man. Might as well. I was thinking about it last night, matter of fact. Might as well. Listen, man. Dr. Eckloff got a good ring to it. so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Eckloff in this mother. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I feel you. I feel Real you. talk, but but listen, not not just because it sounds cool though. Yeah, yeah, no, but I because agree. Because you really got that. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. And I feel you, and, and that's like that's a, a very important point because I don't know, man. Like I'm just kind of nerdy, bro. Like yeah. I just like to read. I just like to oh, learn no about doubt. stuff. I like I to know. like teach people things. I like exactly. to you know consume information and knowledge and to share that with other people. And then, you know, so it's like, I think it's, anything that I'd be studying, I'd be studying anyways. Right. I I would do it on my own. Right. And so, that's what I really noticed when I was in school, because, like, you know, I'm in classes with people that got PhDs. I'm in classes with people, they're they're professors right now. Hmm. But, like, when we're in the class, I may not have as much formal education as them. But I'm a, I'm I'm grinding, bro. Like this is like this is not a game to me. Right. And so I I I never felt weird being in situations where I'm like, yo, what's up? I take it to you know, I take it there too. Right, right, it don't right, it don't right, matter right, how many right. papers you have, cause like right, right. I know what I studied and I, I know right. what I'm talking about. Not with everything, but the right, things right, that I do right, know. Right, right. And um, but yeah, man, I feel like I'm trailing or uh, going on. But like, that's the plan. No doubt. That's the no plan. <laughs> And so, you know, what positive words would you have for, you know, aspiring artists and musicians out there? I would tell all artists that they got to find out who they are. You got to gain the knowledge of yourself if you're really going to be able to channel some music that's uh, powerful and life-changing. And so go back and understand your history, understand where your people came from, understand what they did, how they lived, and how that connects to you. I think that's number one. And then also just like... To believe in yourself because there should there there should be no one on this planet believing in you more than you believing in yourself. You should never let that be the case. Right. You're in bad shape if somebody else believes in you more than you believe yourself. Man. Um, so I mean that and like consistency. You gotta keep grinding, man. Exactly. You keep grinding. They say uh, an overnight success takes ten years to make. And so if you're not it's, you should be grinding right now. You, right, you exactly. Know. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially when you look at like cats like Kobe Bryant. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? These, these great athletes that you can tell they put in the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not just, I mean, they're great, but they're not just taking it over like that. You know? Nah. I mean, they really put it down. You know, yeah. They really put that time in. You know yeah. What I mean? Right, 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 right. So, you know, definitely, you know what I mean? Persistence is definitely one of the main tips that I give. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because that's what, actually one of my strategies. Yeah. It's just being persistent. Even if it's not, 
even if it doesn't blow big, or even if it doesn't, you know, turn out the way other people expect it to. Yeah. You know, I still, you know, get it done. Still, right, you know right. I mean? No, yeah. man, that's dope. That's dope, bro. There's like plenty of times where I've spoken at a spot with only like three people there. You know, there's right. plenty of times where it's like it's not it's not a home run. Right, right, exactly. But you you still gotta you still gotta get it in. Exactly. You still gotta get those exactly. repet- that, that repetition in. Real talk. So uh, yeah, man, John Eckloff has been great. You know what I'm saying? Having you here for this exclusive interview with the Wilson Block. Uh, you got some shout outs, man. Let's go ahead and hear them. Um, want to give a special shout out to Lakewood. Uh, shout out to my homies. Uh, shout out to my boo. Shout out to my family. And um, yeah, no, nah, shout out to Tim and Raffi and Steven and Justin. No doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is, man. It's Wilson Block 100 Radio. It's your boy John Eckloff, and we signing out. Well, I'm not John Eckloff, but we had John Eckloff yeah, on no the block. Yeah, no, no doubt, man. No doubt. Uh, and we out, man. Wilson Block 100 Radio.